Well, happy election day, everybody. Man, it's election day, and I hope that you've been out and you did your civic duty and you cast your vote. Man, that's a great privilege that we have here in this country. And here's my statement for today. Make America grateful again. I saw this t-shirt back in early 2017 after the election. Everybody was moaning and groaning and griping and complaining and all that stuff. And I thought, that's a message that I need to be talking about. So I bought this t-shirt. going to use it as a sermon illustration. I was scheduled to preach in this church and I had a shirt on over the t-shirt, you know, so I'd look halfway respectable. And uh, I was going to make a dramatic point, drive my truth home about the power of gratitude. Because you know, the absence of gratitude equals entitlement. I stole that quote someplace. I got it at the good quote section at Walmart's. And I made my point. I took my shirt off, man. I revealed this and I preached it and everybody was happy. Everybody was grateful. Everything was fine until after I got done preaching, this young hippie looking kid walks up to me and goes, hey man, that's a nice grateful dead shirt you got on. I'm like, what? What was that? And I didn't even notice the logo or the flaming skull, but it just made my heart happy. So I hope today that, you know, regardless of what the outcome of the election is today, here's the truth. God is still on the throne and Jesus is still Lord. That ain't changing. And that's some good theology right there. Yeah, we got some work to do in our country and we need to be involved as citizens to see that those changes happen. But not at the sacrifice of us being grateful for all the blessings that God has given us. I hope you have a great day. Adios.